Flicker Wisp, sure. That's pretty good. So now his is gonna die though, so I get to eat it with Wall of Roots? That sounds delicious. Float mana, eat that. I think I wanna just cycle this. We have plenty of mana in our hand, so we can cord for one, two, one, two, three, I think. This is a tough one. We could cord for Fulminator and take him off a of land since he missed a land drop, or I could cord for Sin Collector and see what's up in his hand. I think I like cording for Sin Collector here. Yeah, let's do that. I guess there's a chance this bricks, but his spell density is reasonably high, and it like lets us know that our other things are gonna resolve. Yeah, it's got a ton of targets. All right, so Ojitize Command, Dispel. We can play around Dispel. We can't play around Ojitize Command, really. So I got Dispel Path, Dispel Path, Fountain. All right, ship it. So we're going to take three here and go all the way down to 18. That lets us start shipping with our scavenging use, though. So The humble defector in this deck was funny. Um, I'm going to start... Huh. I think I'm going to start by pathing to see if he dispels. didn't dispel so we're gonna cord or we're gonna witness get back cord and then we're probably just gonna like hold this up for the foreseeable future like he just has to leave up one blue now we could also just like draw restoration angel and resto sin collector and take the dispel out of his hand and there are definitely wraths in his deck so I don't I think I'm going to play out the spell skite. I'm going to ship with... Yeah, I'm going to ship with Witness. And I'm just going to ship with all of them, actually. Because if he wants to trade, we could play Lark. Hey, Brian. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him trade with either of these guys here. That puts more fodder in the graveyard for scavenging is too, which is great. You king creepy. As hungry, mama. You creepy boy. Hi. Uh, the Tron matchup is definitely easier post board. Like every deck is a better Tron matchup post board. If you know you're playing against Tron game one, it's not too bad. Oh, is the door open? Say thank you for the bottle, Mom. Is Jake, still, is Jake still sleeping? Yeah, okay. Alright, well this isn't good for our opponent. We just got a ton of pressure on the table. I guess he has a path. That's not bad for us. Um, I'm just going to ship with both of these guys first. Because if he paths the scavenging ooze like I think he's going to, yeah, sweet. So we get basic forest. We're hitting for two here. Crack this mountain. Cast Kiki Jiki. And then during his upkeep here, I'm gonna sin collect I'm gonna Kiki Sin Collector. Take the dispel out of his hand. 
is Dispel and Negate and Sun Titan. Um, well, Dispel's cheaper. Negate and Dispel are the same magic card against our deck, so... So then, if our opponent didn't draw a way to interact here, we get to Kiki Sin Collector on our turn, and then to take his Dispel. Yeah, so our opponent is dead. So we get to uh, Kiki Sin Collector, take away his Dispel, and then Cord for Restoration Angel and kill him. Uh, I didn't want to do it during the draw step, because that gives him a chance to draw Path to Exile and Path to Sin Collector, and I knew I wanted to take his Counter Spell away. No, I did, I did not want to give him a chance to draw a Snapcaster or Path. I knew he had a Dispel that I could take, so I wanted to make sure that we were getting the Dispel. I didn't want to give him an extra turn to draw, draw a card to kill us. All right, sweet. Only three in on this league. Run a quick commercial and keep running it back. Thanks for hanging out this evening, folks. build feels sweet. I like these couple of changes. Lone Missionary is like mediocre at times, but I really like having him game one against Burns. So I think it's worth having one in the main deck. Join match. I would like to play first. Um. Uh, spawn of Virtue. If our opponent's playing something fair, this is fine. If they're not, it's awful. If they're playing something fair, this could just be bad still, too. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. This could be bad if he's playing a combo deck, but I think, I think this is fine. Lead on the foothills because the mountains in our opener. Another another hollow fountain deck. Extra sin collector does work against hollow fountain decks. It starts a little anemic, probably has kept seven as well, so we both get bad hands. All right, we got a combo, as the kids say. Oh man, PNK is gonna resolve? That seems great for us. Yeah, man, you got a kitchen finks. I'm gonna play my mom and dad. Yeah, it looks like just guy. Yep, he's also on the card hoarder stream team, I believe. So we ship here with the guys. Hold up Resto, not run into Manalika Reman this turn. Usually plays combo decks. Oh yeah, I've seen him stream some weird stuff before. Come on, Electrolyze PN Curran, do it. Come on, Electrolyze PN Curran. You know you want to. You know you want to rest up PN, Electrolyze PN, Kieran. If he just like passes back here, that's great for us. He just like went a turn without using his three mana. Yeah, I've been streaming with sound all year.
Yeah, definitely. Like, Restoration Angel has long been a really powerful magic card. Like, And that's why, that's another thing that, like, adds to the complexity of the key keyword deck is your timing with everything. It's like, because you have all these instant speed things, like, when are you timing things? The right play here is to electrolyze these two Thopters, if he has it. Uh, that being said, yeah, so he's electrolyzing the Thopters. I'm just going to go ahead and get the Resto in now. Resto Besto. So he kills the Thopters. We get two more, so we're up to three, four, five, six, seven power on table now. Just like again, we want to like time our stuff so his removal is awkward and his. Uh, Overgrown tomb here in case we draw Pontiff. Dome off the scent a little. I don't think I want to jam Kiki here. I think I'm going to just ship with the flying creatures. See what happens. Spell skate. If you let Spell skate resolve, which he did, I'm gonna play Horizon Canopy now and ship the turn. P and K means we're not dead to Resto and to Kiki. Spawn of Virtue, if you click, uh, see I'm on the Card Hoarder stream team above my, by my stream name, you can see his his stream listed there as well. So we're going to resto before before blocks here when he ships. If he's being interacts with resto, he's less likely to be able to interact with Kiki Jiki on his turn. Uh, on our next turn, probably just jamming. Yeah, so... You going to path my spell skate? How about if I resto in response? <clears throat> Is he going to counter bounce this resto? That would be the line, I think, because otherwise he's just dead to the count. Kiki next turn. Kiki record. And if he goes counter bounce resto, we get to resto PA and Kira next turn again. So. so he's pathing spell Skype before blocks here. He could he could counter bounce resto and then not be dead. And like he's thinking about he's dead to court if he does that and all this other stuff. He does have five cards in his hand. Oh, we can redirect the bounce. Yeah, oh god. Yeah, so if he, if he cryptics, he's just dead. Good call. Good call, Charles. Yeah, this is just, this is really not going to work out in his favor. Oh, yeah. 